Hi guys, so welcome to the second part of the video. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about some things I wish I knew um, before I was pregnant. And this has to do with the emotional changes and the mental changes that happened to me while I was pregnant, okay? Well, why I'm still pregnant, because I am still pregnant. I already show you this, but you know, Belly is huge, I'm 34 weeks and this is my second pregnancy. So let's go for the second part of the video. And um, without further ado, just make sure you like the video as well. You subscribe if you haven't been subscribed yet and um, comment down below any questions or ideas for me that you have. And let's get started. So what have changed in my mental emotional health? All right. First of all, there's so many mood changes when you are pregnant. It's like you start thinking about what would life be? You know, like so many different things change. And it's important to accepting that this is really happening. Yes, you are pregnant and you are going to give life to another human being in um, not too long you know it's going to happen and um, just accept it and leave it with like gratitude and leave it with faith because you don't know something may go wrong it usually happens things can go wrong but if you keep strong you keep like being thankful because god have chose you to give a life to this world and this is such a important job the most important job in the universe i believe so then just accept it and think about the positive things you know think about when you're going to see your baby's face when everything is going to finish because it's going to finish really soon so try to keep gratitude i recommend you a gratitude journal or something that has to do with like a gratitude practice every day gratitude affirmations um meditations gratitude meditations like be grateful when you feel your baby's moving because every time the baby's moving that means that the baby's healthy the baby is energized and the baby is alive and everything is all right so with your mood changes you know try to be com but compassive with yourself and very comprehensive with what you're feeling and just try to focus on the positive emotions instead of in the bad ones. All right. So for me, it's so important connecting with the baby, like this bonding, that, you know, that we have with the baby is for me, as is my second baby is, um, you know, it's nice because Trinity also sees what's going on. She knows there's a baby inside of me. She touches the baby, etc. She actually reminds me to bond more with this baby. So how can you bond with your baby? Anyhow, you can have a bath and feel everything over there, you know, like touch the belly. You can have a siesta, sleep for a little bit while you're touching the belly. You can do a baby a mom meditation where you're actually breathing and giving the air to your baby, thinking every time you're breathing, your baby's breathing with you. You can do, uh, you know, every time you go to the ultrasound and you hear the, the heartbeat, you can just, you know, imagine this heartbeat and, you know, feel grateful for the heartbeat of the baby. Um, if you know the gender of the baby as well, you can connect in the sense that you can imagine how the baby is going to be like so many different ways of um, connecting with the baby. In this case, I, I fantasize with the baby appearance because I don't know if it's going to be like Jamai, like my first baby. She looks so much like my partner or she's she going to be more like me. So I try to fantasize oh, how is her nose going to be? How is everything going to be, you know, and and also send her a lot of positive uh, vibrations. And obviously I wish for her happiness. I wish for her health. And for me, it's important. I want her to be beautiful as well and to be kind. And you know, all the things I want her to be, I actually imagine it now. This is my way of bonding with her because I know she's already alive inside of me. So she will, she's picking up in all my thoughts. So if I'm thinking negative things, she's gonna pick up on that. So I try to connect with her in a positive way as much as I can. So 
to deal with my body image issues for example i like to feel powerful and um, i like to feel like i'm more women than never and even though i don't feel the sexiest i still feel confident on you know the incredible job that my body is doing by bringing this baby to the world and these emotional changes are I don't care about how much bo my body will change because at the end of the day, I'm powerful because I'm creating a new life to this world. So another thing that is important, which I'm lacking a lot in this second pregnancy, is to plan ahead. ahead. For example, like you want to know um, where the baby is going to sleep. You want to know the nursery of the baby. You want to know the clothing you want to, you know, put for the baby during the first months. And I, I say I'm lacking on this a little bit because I'm actually moving house right now. So I, I still don't know these things, many of these things. Um, we are going to move in a couple of weeks to another city. And we still have a lot of things to sort out. But uh, on my first baby, I did prepare ahead. Um, we went with a nursery. We had um, everything for the baby ready, clothes, etc. Everybody was waiting for her. So excited. And in this second baby, it's going to be exactly the same. It's just happening a bit later on, on the, on the process. But I think you never fail to start preparing too early. It's like, it's better be over prepared than not prepared at all, you know? And I say that for experience, cause now I'm having a lot of anxiety with knowing like, as soon as I get to where I'm going to live, I need to buy the nursery, to buy clothes. I need to prepare her room. And it's gonna be a lot to do, but because I have done it before, I already know the steps I have to do towards it. I already, you know, have the experience of doing it. But if it's your first one, I will tell you, start preparing as soon as possible. And I'm going to take my same advice. So how would I deal with um, mental issues or issues that my pregnancy have caused emotionally on, on myself? So... For me, it's important to allow myself to accept this blessing that God has put on, on my hands and to think of the baby as a gift and as something that is not granted, something that you never know if it's going to go well until you actually finish the pregnancy, if you have your baby in your hands. So I accept it as a gift and I'm always being thankful and appreciative because of the baby very important and uh, i recommend you do the same just allow yourself to be very vulnerable as well in case you have bad feelings or something you know don't you there's something that you don't want just allow yourself to be more compassive with yourself as well and accept the blessing of the baby and um, for me, it's important to keep a devotional or keep a journal or keep something where you can actually write your gratitude or, you know, your prayers and remember to pray. I I wish I pray every day. I don't pray every day, but the days I pray, I notice a difference. Like it's important to start your morning with affirmations, with good vibes, with prayer, with meditation, with something that give, puts your energy up and that makes you remember that you're not just one now. You are actually two, even though you don't realize it yet. You are two and you have to keep your spirituality the highest as possible so your baby will pick up on you as well. Another thing that's important is to be very vulnerable. Like look for help if you need to look for help, especially of your partner because it's with, with who is with you all day. But also seek for help from a friend, seek for help from a group of people, maybe a maternity group, something, or find a YouTuber that you like that's, you know, have, is having the same experience you're gonna have like me for example <laughs> you can follow me or anything like look for help like don't think you are alone because we all women in this world have many women in this world have happened for the same experience 
including your mom, your sisters, or if you have um, another woman around, it's like, you're not alone. And, and I feel like women, we should be able to support each other and, you know, um, be very comprehensive when someone new is going through something. Like I find that, for example, in my case, like uh, there is older women that have had kids before or that even a part of a, a close circle, but they don't share the experience that much. They don't advise that much. For me, I think it's important to, you know, find someone that have gone through the same and then find a support in her, find support in your family, find support in, in a therapist if you need it, or, you know, just be vulnerable and don't think you are alone because we all... If, if you are a woman, you will go through it if you haven't gone through it yet and or you can go through it. So never think you are alone. You have people there that can support you. And yeah, um, as I said before, it's important to start preparing the earliest as possible. And that's something I have to do too. Create a lot of, uh, you know, uh, a lot of um, lists of things you want your baby to have, uh, being clothes, being accessories, being like um, maternity things that you need for yourself for your postpartum. Start preparing that as soon as possible. And yeah, it's very important. Set up a very... Uh, it's very important to set up a sleeping routine, a sleeping environment. Like think about how you're gonna sleep when the baby's here. Is the baby gonna sleep with you in the same bed? Is the baby gonna have a, a crib next to your bed? Is the baby gonna have her own room, maybe with older sisters or something? Like I think it's going to be my case, but it's advisable during the first month of the baby that the baby sleeps with you and is next to you. So. Make sure you think about that ahead of time as well. Write the, the highs and the lows in the sense that you can, you know, especially in the first trimester and in the second one, your mood is going to go up and down and you're going to feel like one, someday you're going to feel amazing, someday you're going to feel awful. So just learn to write it. No, it's not forever and that you're going to pass. <laughs> All right. So last, I want to speak about the spiritual changes have happened in my life with the pregnancy and that I wish I knew before. So as I am sort of a Christian, my family have Christian, I have Christian background. So I think faith is very important, faith and gratitude and uh, the appreciation of life. The life force that is inside of you is something so special because God has chose you to bring this soul to this world and is unique. Like no other person have been chosen to bring this baby. You have. So have faith that everything is going to be all right, that everything is working out for you and for your baby and that you got, you got this. You're going, to, you're going to be an amazing mom. You're going to be an amazing you know server of god to bring this baby to this world and you're going to do your best no matter what you do even if if you you know even if you adopt the child it doesn't even matter the important thing is you have been chosen to bring this life to the world so be appreciative about it be thankful and have faith that everything is going to go all right it's important to know that after you become a mom, your priorities are going to change. Your life is going to change. Like, for example, I will advise you if you want to spend as much time with your partner doing as many adventures and nice things as you can now, do it now because after the baby comes, you're only going to have a certain minutes a day to be with your partner. And especially for being intimate and these sort of things, like try to find time to yourself and your partner yourself and your friends yourself and your family as much as you can now because when the baby come all the priorities are going to change and it's going to be you and the baby and anything else you and the baby and anything else <laughs> like you'll never be alone <laughs> in a long time so shift your priorities from now and take advantage of the time you have now to actually plan ahead all these changes that are going to be in your life so um, 
it's important to have a big connection with others because we are not alone and most when we have a baby and now we are a family it's important for you to you know have relationships and friends and good people around you so keep in mind that you know there is people that want to help you that is good that they are around so keep good connections always and some tips that i will say to deal with some of these spiritual changes is that yeah you have to get your partner involved it's very important that during the night times when you're seeing the baby kick or when something's happening inside of you just make him a participate of, of it make him touch as well where the baby's moving feel the baby because he is the father of this creature that is inside of you so if you share with him all these moments you won't feel as alone and you you'll feel like you have a lot of memories of good things to share together so involve your partner on your mom or your sister or whoever is around you in the process of creation and for me uh, it's important to do my devotions or well at least try like pray read the bible I, I was reading the bible with trinity lately she has a, a kids bible the first bible for the kids and i read it with her every night i try like read story of the bibles but i also like to meditate when i have time or whenever i can meditate do like subliminals or affirmations or whatever is the thing that you do that is that a long time for you yourself your baby and you know your spiritual being your higher self or you and god or whatever you know use your physical and psychic abilities to actually create deep connections and you know like have your rituals as well like i don't know if you journal or if you maybe put a candle and meditate or incense or listening to subliminals for whatever is the result you want to have it's important to do your devotions whatever that looks for you okay so remember that this pregnancy is temporary and it's going to pass really really fast so don't worry uh, about what is going on right now this won't even matter in a few years or a few months so just keep in mind it's temporary and you are going to be all right your baby's going to be all right everything is gonna be just fine okay and um yeah also remember as i said before that what you are creating is forever and what you are bringing to this life is a soul that one day will be united to you forever so be mindful with how you are you know managing your pregnancy and this is something i wish i knew uh, as well because anything you do is going to potentially affect the baby so i some resources that I recommend you, you should have, uh, maybe a pregnancy journal or just a journal in general where you can write about your day to day, you can write letters to your baby. These are things that you're going to appreciate in the future because this time only will pass once and you know whatever you are feeling in this moment is so important and if you want to communicate it to the baby write it down and then it will be there forever and then a few years down the line you guys can look back and see everything also remember to get yourself some clothes that make you feel nice like maternity clothes or just normal clothes you know but that, that make you feel like pretty you know sexy confident whatever is important because your body is changing your mind is changing and everything is changing so also change your wardrobe for feeling a little bit more yourself and um, this is it i believe i think um, i this video was very complete i don't know which changes you have had because every woman is different so these are some of the things I've, I have experience and some tips that have helped me to be more, you know, more on point in, with my pregnancies, in this case, second pregnancy. And I hope they help you as well. So if they did, please give me a like, 
don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are not a subscribe yet, subscriber yet and um, comment down below anything you want to know um Wangela, i'm waiting very happy to do the next video as well for you so thank you so much for watching i appreciate you all and make sure you keep up with everything going on in the channel i'll see you guys on the next video i appreciate you and yeah i'm very happy to be here with you have a great day i love you all bye bye